Good morning. Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're with me. My name is Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Glad you stopped by. Uh, we're going to jump into the charts this morning pretty quickly. I've got to run off to work here. Uh, it's been a lot of time in the Telegram group this morning. We've been hoping for a, uh, a fourth wave here and a, and a push to the upside up to about 88.53. Uh, price has taken its uh, sweet time and uh, going on a path that uh, we're not sure uh, what what's next to come. Uh, fourth waves are always very tricky. If it is a fourth wave, uh, that's where the market makers really do their damage to us. So um, I'm even reconsidering you know, just an, even a personal strategy for uh, for me and uh, it, just trading this third wave. I know a lot of guys just trade the third wave and don't don't worry about the upside for the for the fifth wave. But uh, we'll have to talk about what we're seeing here and talk about where we think price is going. So let's just jump in, see if we can figure out uh, what's, what's coming. Well, what we've got here, obviously, is we, we've got a five-wave move here. Uh, looks impulsive. Uh, we've got, a, we've got a, just a long correction. It looks like a one, two, or an A, B of some sort. And then we're looking for a C wave, right? Uh, that C wave needs to be five waves. Uh, the question is, is five waves complete? Uh, one might argue that this is one, two, three, four, and then we're getting the fifth wave here, one, two, three, four, and then we need a fifth wave to the upside. That's a potential um, way to interpret that. Um, another another argument might be that this is actually just a three wave. This is an ABC, uh, and a three wave, and then we need a three wave to the upside. Okay, <coughs> so we might, uh, you know. So there's two different ways of, I guess, looking at that for now. Uh, I guess the final argument is that this is uh, this is actually going to be a moonshot that uh, we that price might uh, price might be uh, coming to the upside here. If price gets over, I would say about ninety-two hundred dollars to ninety-four hundred dollars, we are actually looking pretty uh, pretty bullish actually for for a longer term rather than just a shorter term. Uh, my initial concept here is that uh, we, we needed to come up here. We've already hit the one-to-one -one extension. You can see here this one-to-one -one extension at 86. Uh, 30, that's where that was. We went through it to about 87. Well, I think it hit around $8,700. Uh, and then it you know, has bounced off of that. Now, is, is that finished or do we have more upside? That's the big question. That's anybody's guess. Um, you know, I'm going to try to give you some information as to what I think. But uh, at the end of the day, the market, mooker, ma market makers, mar the market mookers, the market makers do what they want to do. And it's, sometimes it's uh, really, really a challenge to, uh, to, to pinpoint it. And I'm have personally, I'm having a hard time pinpointing exactly what they're doing. So let's look here. Uh, I've given you kind of the three scenarios. Again, my, my main bias is that we should be hitting here or here and then uh, going to the downside. Um, I still see another push to the upside, but it may come in a way that we don't expect at a time we don't expect as well. Uh, today is Thursday, so Friday. Thursdays and Fridays are oftentimes for moves in the market. So uh, we might be looking for a move tomorrow, maybe even on Friday. So they may consolidate this thing even more for a while. So, um, digging into this potential scenario, we could have a three wave. That's a basically kind of a flat uh, correction to some degree. Then you got a three wave move to the downside, and then we're getting a three wave move to the upside. Now this looks like a five move correction, so we need to see five waves in this one as well. Um, if 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 this is rightly interpreted as a five move five wave move, uh, it can be interpreted correctively. It can be interpreted uh, five waves. Uh, it looks more impulsive than it does three waves for sure. I was thinking maybe it was a failed wave yesterday and obviously uh, it, it, uh, it still is a corrective type wave. It measures correctively. So it is still my belief that we are bearish, uh, that, that we are going to be coming down. That is still my belief. Everything is everything in this in this scenario is still measuring correctively. And when that does that, even though we get these bull moves to the upside, it doesn't mean we're bullish. It just means that we've got, you know, market maker moves kind of taking us up to these levels. And so we have to be aware of them. Okay. I don't know if my chart is frozen. I'm going to just re reload it here because it uh, seems like it's been frozen there for a little while at that price. Maybe not. Maybe we're doing okay. Okay. I uh, just wanted to make sure. Um, been kind of sitting here at that price for a little while. 
All right, so, uh, yeah, um, and pardon me, my voice is just a little you know, weak today. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking for a three-wave move here to the upside. That's that's my take on it. And so, basically, if I've got a five-wave and a three-wave, I'm looking for a five-wave move. Let's dig into this move, and let me show you what I'm seeing here. Now, again, yesterday I mentioned in the morning video that uh, this is going up to the upside. This has got to be a one, two, one, two. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. It's a one, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, this just looks to me, uh, now it's hard to tell. Um, sorry about all the notifications here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's the third wave. Okay. Now, uh, do we get a truncated fifth? Is that what that is? And this is heading down. Uh, I imagine that's a potentiality uh, for sure. Um, and and when, when the market makers do those kinds of tricks, it makes it quite difficult for sure. Um, we do have a very, very uh, small uh, wave one and I, just a huge extended uh, wave three. If we look at that, I mean, uh, let's just measure it and see where it extended to. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't even have the four six one eight on my on my on my computer. Let's uh, let's put it on here. There it is. It came up to the four six one eight. Wow, what an extended wave for sure. What an extended wave. So, uh, there's a possibility that that uh, that that is uh, complete, um, and uh, we are. Uh, potentially heading down but if that's the case we need to see a five wave impulse here and we're just not seeing an impulse here what i'm seeing here are three wave movements okay we've got a three wave okay uh we got an x wave and a three wave so i mean this looks like a three wave that's a three wave okay um i don't know how to measure that uh you know i don't see this as an impulse wave i see that as corrective um you know, so this is the only impulse that we've really seen here. I mean, and whether it's impulse or not, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it, it certainly comes straight down. Um, and I think everybody was kind of, and we were expecting that this pivot right here was going to take us and take us up to our upper targets. But uh, it certainly it hit this line. And uh, of course, this line was only there after the fact. But it came up to the 1276 and reversed sharply off of that. And so... Um, do have this trend line uh, down here that matches uh, this trend line up here. So once once we got those two points, we just carried that trend line down, and uh, and they kind of match up nicely there. So uh, we are in this channel. We could get a bounce up here. It's most likely that bounce is going to be a three wave move to the upside. Uh, I'm you know right now the way price action is going, I'm not feeling any upside, but. Again, that's what the market makers want you to feel uh, whenever they're uh, taking price to the upside. They need willing sellers. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep your psychology in check here. Um, no clear trades to the upside. I would say that if we get a break above, uh, if you get a break above this channel, you know it's not the greatest entry in the world, but you you know you might play it for a couple of hundred dollars um, to the upside. I'll be careful of false breaks as well. So you got to be, be in mind. But really no trade, to be honest with you, uh, here uh, with such uncertainty at this time. At least I couldn't recommend any trade. You should really uh, use tight stop losses and, and know where your uh, invalidation points are if you're trading this. You may just have to learn to deal with your psychology, guys. And, uh, you know, say, okay, I'm just going to let this go. I'm just going to let that go until the market gives clarity. I'm going to let this upside go uh, so, you know, the market uh, can give its clarity and then we can trade. Now, my opinion, I think we're, uh, you know, my thoughts is that we're going to, this is a great short zone opportunity. I want to watch price action on the way up and see what kind of wave structure we get if it comes up there at all. And then once that wave structure is revealed, um, it might give us an a five wave move, you know, five wave indicator there that we can uh, come on down for a short. So if we see five waves finishing up, it might be a good indicator to go short here because I believe I believe personally that we have more downside to go. Now, if price comes up here to the 1618 extension of that of this down move uh, at $9,200, I'm, I'm rounding up to the nearest hundred. Then I think our uh, we're looking more bullish than bearish, and then we've got more upside to go. So there's our invalidation points. That's what we're looking for. Uh, let's Let's take a peek at uh, Litecoin and Ethereum. Litecoin, um, you know, we've got we've, we're bouncing off the one two seven six right now. Uh, depending on the way you draw this wave, I could draw it a couple of ways. I've got a one two three, uh, one two three, or this is one two three, one two three, and then we're getting 
a five wave there. Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, it just depends on how you draw the fibs here. I've got it bouncing off the 1618, um, or it's I got it bouncing off. We got a flat correction right here, and uh, we got it bouncing off the 1276. Not sure the most proper way to draw those fibs, but we are bouncing in, a, in an area where there is, um, what do you call it, uh, structure. Um, but uh, again, uh, we should probably get a temporary bounce back up here to the structure here, but I'm not not guaranteeing any, any upside. I still have these targets up here of uh, 6074 and 6286. I really, really just don't like the Litecoin chart right now. Um, you know, just the way it's moving and the way the way it moved. I mean, guys, the way the way price was moving, you know, here in this correction before we got our little run up. It's just it's just real corrective and choppy, and it's just really, really, really hard. And, I, and and if you'll just take a peek at it, you know, just it just you know would go up a little bit, and then it just came down a lot faster than uh, you'd expect. And then and then when price went up, it didn't go up super impulsively. It was just so corrective, so corrective. So um, yeah, I imagine if we get in the upside movement, guys, it's going to be just so corrective. Um, it's just going to be very, very, I mean, look, just look at all that sideways mumbo jumbo. Really, I'm, I would, I personally am not trading Litecoin, and so I, I can't recommend that you do. Now, uh, Ethereum, on the other hand, is looking a lot better. Um, let's look at Ethereum. Uh, we've got this little three-wave move here. Is this a reversal? It's a, it's a fantastic reversal zone. Uh, if I throw the fibs off that top move here, uh, we just bounce right off the 1618, um, we're coming here to the uh, zone where we're going to invalidate a four wave. Uh, so if this is a one, two, three, four, five, it better turn around any time now. If we break this yellow line of death, and we already kind of have 191.74, chances are Ethereum's going to the upside right now, which is good news for Bitcoin. Ethereum seems to be the clearest of all the charts to some degree. Uh, but uh, how far? Right now we're bouncing off the 1276 at 19230. We bounced off of that. Um, we really need to get to 19360. Uh, excuse me, 19346 to be uh, really uh, bullish. I want to see this come up uh, to that level before I can really consider that we're uh, you know doing any kind of bull move. But Let's look at the wave structure here. This is kind of very three wave-ish here. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and then we've got, a, it looks like we've got some kind of a diagonal uh, being formed here. So it's not looking super bullish. Looks like it's probably going to reverse here uh, anytime, uh, potentially. So be careful uh, with that. It's not looking, uh, unless this is some kind of a leading diagonal on the large scale, um, which I guess is possible. Let's consider that just for a minute here. Because leading diagonals begin with three waves, and every wave has three waves here. So if we get some kind of a, this could be a leading diagonal trying to get my trend line here so here's our upper trend line there and we would expect our uh, lower trend line to do something like that and then you would expect a shape hmm, where's my paintbrush there we go so we got to shape something like this so if you get that if that's what we get then uh, we're, we're actually quite bullish uh, we're going to get a three wave move to the downside somewhere about 50 percent of that move uh, and then we should look for a, a really, really good move to the upside. Um, so if you get a leading diagonal like that, then that's actually a fantastic uh, looking uh, chart right there. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. That would be an example of a leading diagonal. So be watching for that if you get that move like that. If you do, look for a three wave down and then you're heading to the upside. Okay. Um, why is my trading view chart? It's just holding. Uh, it's just. I wonder if there's a problem with trading view because this is just sitting here. The last candle was 7:30. Yeah, huh, I don't have updated information here, guys, for uh, for this particular chart. Let's that's Coinbase. I don't know if Coinbase is Coinbase down. I wonder if Coinbase is down. Let's go to the Kraken chart here. Yeah, it looks like we've got updated information for Kraken. So Kraken's moving. Coinbase may be, may be down for now. So um, that must be that must be what's going on. So we might have some stagnation here uh, in the chart here uh, while Coinbase 
it was down. I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see. But uh, that's what we're looking at here. So Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin, there we go. Uh, you know, direction isn't clear. Uh, so I've given you kind of what to look for. Let's just recap here. Um, could have one more uh, potential move to the upside. Uh, I'm going to go back to the... So I can go back to the... Nope, not there. Go back to the Coinbase chart just so I can show you my targets again. There we go. All right, so the upside targets. If we get any upside tar upside from here, it's going to be uh, 88.53 and 91.52. Uh, 91.52 is ultra bullish uh, there. If we get up there, or, or actually 9200, if we get surpassed that, we're looking. Uh, pretty bullish okay um, if we uh, if we come on down from here then our three wave move is complete um, we've got and, and we're looking for downside now okay and it's going to come down impulsively my only problem with that is I just don't see this as an impulse this looks corrective and so looking for uh, we could give some more con corrective structure three waves uh, as we go uh, so it could come down even more correctively uh, so we just have to watch and see. Um, it's uh, just be vigilant and be careful uh, with with your trading, okay? But it, but it could do something like that uh, before it goes up. So it could be long and drawn out over today, uh, collecting and consolidating, and, and you know, uh, often price will do that. See, all this was a day's worth of chop, um, you know, before price went up. So be careful, be safe. You guys have a fantastic day. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, if, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Appreciate all, all your support of the channel, and uh, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.